Okay, guys. Back with my skid steer today. <laughs> uh, I had to... This actually happened yesterday. I came out here to start it, and uh, it wouldn't start. <laughs> uh, but it's been three weeks. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to buy a battery disconnect for this thing. But I'm not going to do it right now. So I jumped it off. Got it started. And, uh, you know, I was letting it warm up sitting right here. And I was inside doing some other things. And this thing powered up. Because, uh, you know, it's, it was idling. And so it was burning off some of the soot. Anyway, when it did, it, the fan, uh, this belt right here. The alternator belt started squeaking. And I could hear it, you know. I'm like, well, that'll go away for in a minute, more than likely. Well, it didn't go away. It broke. <laughs> so I was like, well, let me go check this thing. So I came out here, shut it off. And, you know, verified that that's what it was. But I could see a little piece of belt. I could see a little piece of belt laying right here. So I knew that's what it was. So then I took this cover off. Which this cover comes off real easily. You know, it goes right there. But you just undo those tabs right there. And then that comes right off. And that comes right off, no problem. Anyway, then like I said, the one belt was broke, so I just grabbed it. And the other one, for the compressor, it was sitting right here, but it was all twisted. And I could see uh, all the cracks in it. Matter of fact, I'll show you. So I just pulled it off with the screwdriver. So this is it right here. You guys may not be able to see. But then again, you might let me get out here and see. The cracks in it. And yeah, that's a, a lot of cracks in there. And of course the other one. <laughs> Destroyed. So anyway, I bought some new ones. New. Belch and cap. I put those on there today. That's what I'm going to do. And, you know, I was looking at this thing real simple. I mean, the belt tensioner for that one is right there. And then, of course, this one is right there. So I just got all I got to do is loosen them up, put the belts on, and put some tension on them, tighten them back up. Let's get started. All right, guys, I just want to show you something. Since I hard to film this since i'm so close to the work but right here on this compressor belt i took off you know the screw the bolt i mean i actually just loosened it at first you know so it would go up and down thinking it would give me enough room to put the belt on well i couldn't do it wasn't enough room so i was going to take this off which is the hardware for that bracket right there and so i put the wrench on there and watch what happens i mean it pulled the compressor up quite a bit i don't know if you can see that anyway it's pulling it up i pulled it up enough to where i can get that belt on so i just wanted to show you that since that was a little tricky i was like how the heck am i gonna get this belt on i even thought about cheating <laughs> And sliding the belt on you know but there was no way for this this wouldn't turn obviously because that's what the engine so i couldn't like put the belt on there and then start turning things as work it on there like that there's no way so and i didn't want to do it on that side either because i didn't want to mess with the compressor clutch so i was like well i guess i'll just take it all apart so i took that bracket off i'll show you when i get it back together there's a bracket right there for the cover that goes on but anyway i just wanted to show you that right there so you could see how uh I was able to get the compressor to move up enough to where the belt would go on and you know because you got your lines right there for the ac one's right there and the other one's right there and they they, they move with the you know the bone on it so i didn't mess anything up all right let me get this back together and i'll come back to you all right i got this all back together so when i did the alternator belt you know i loosened this bolt right here and the alternator would not move so the only other bolt that was holding it is this mountain bolt right here right there so i had to loosen that and of course it's got a nut on the back instead of just having threads 
you know, you just tighten in the bolt. So, let me show you how I had to get that off. Okay, so I had to go, I had to put, I had to put a wrench on the back side of the alternator, on a nut, and put my ratchet here. So I had to reach my arm down through here, and hold the wrench right there, and you know, do a push and pull type thing to break it loose. And then I was able to have enough slack, and that thing just moved around freely then. And then, when I put it back on, I had to do the opposite. You know, I had to pull here, or push here rather, and then pull up to tighten it. So it was doable. It was doable there. All right, so then on the compressor that I showed you how I got it, so it looked like it was gonna be easier, but it turned out to be, I mean, it was easier, but it took me a minute to figure out the combination to make it move. Oh, and I see now I got this bracket back on. I took that bolt off right there and the one right there and just moved it out of my way because I was thinking I was going to have to get this bracket out or take this nut loose here to, to make that thing move but once I put my wrench there it was obviously able to move and I got them on all right so I got my belts back on tension's real good I like it and I marked it before I started on those slots I don't know if you can really see it, but I marked it with a permanent marker right there and right there and then like I said over here right there and right there anyway because I figured you know this thing was belonged to cat those guys would set it pretty good and I mean it does have good tension I checked it so anyway let's go ahead and crank it see if it does what it's supposed to do So that looks good. Everything seems like it looked good. Tension's still good. All right, let's put this cover on. See if I can do this one-handed. Okay. Yeah, how it's got those little Zeus things, I guess I would call them. And just slide it on there. You know what? I'm gonna have to put you on the tripod. Let's see. If I can get one started, I think I'll be all right. There it goes. You want to go home? That's your home. All right. We found we found its home. <laughs> okay. Got that all back on. All right, guys, let's show you the tools I used. That screwdriver right there to take that cover off that you just saw me put back on. 
And then I had a combination of tools, wrenches, 13, 15, 14. That's a 14, so I had two of them. And then same thing in sockets, 15, 14, 13. And I used this right here. I stuck this socket off and I stuck it through here. And I was able to, let me just show you. I didn't show you. Anyway, I stuck this through here like that. Okay. So it went right through there and then it rested on that uh, bolt right back there in the back. And then I was able to just push on it to the side and get the tension I needed. So I was able to just, I was able to push this way to get the tension on that belt. So that worked real good. That's why I had that. Alrighty. Alright guys, it's going to wrap this up. That's how I change my belts on my Cat 259D.